Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we're going to talk about a 2020 horror film, The Empty Man. Yep. Which is a movie that I had heard by name, but completely dismissed when I first heard it. Because the name kind of evokes the same vibe as, like, Slender Man or the Bye Bye, -bye, -bye, -bye Man. Man. Yeah. Some shit like that. That's not that. It's not, it's what not this that movie at, is all. at all. Thankfully, Jack heard some good things through the social media grapevines about it and decided to put it on on a whim. And so I got to watch it blind with him. And this movie surprised the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, <clears throat> it's based off of a uh, boom graphic novel, mm -hmm. boom, uh, graphic novel published by Boom Comics. Yes. Of the same name. Uh, and it's, it's based on that. Because apparently Boom Comics is trying to have its own movie studio a la Marvel at this point, which is... I'm, I'm, I'm for fine. that, you know? Yeah. Like, if they're making movies like this, go for it. Like, yeah, yeah, come yeah. On. Hey, if you, want, you guys want to be the next Dark Horse, I mean, <clears> go <throat> for it. I heard this described by someone on social media as... Uh, not just being a horror movie, but the most horror movie. And I kind of get where they're coming from. Because this is a movie that kind of switches genres multiple times throughout its running time, yeah. seamlessly. Like, completely yeah. seamlessly. Now, I wish I could tell you all of them right now, but the last two genres it kind of switches into are big-ass spoilers. Yeah. So we'll talk about that when we get to the spoilers. But the first two genres that I can talk about essentially is it's kind of like in the very beginning of the movie, it first starts off as one of those, like, like mountain horror movies, like, like, uh, like Ravenous or like... Oh, um, yeah. Black Mountainside, those horror movies where you have people like out in the mountains in the snow and like there's some mysterious force that seems to be stalking them. <clears throat> it starts off like that and then kind of evolves into something more akin to like The Ring or Seven, like a murder mystery kind of vibe, but with like an urban legend at the center of it. Um, yeah, and, and then and you know these two things are going to connect at some. Point. Oh yeah, at some point these two plot, these two things that we're seeing are going to connect, and then the movie just goes off the rails from there. <laughs> yeah, like in the beginning, it's it's a group of mountaineers up in the Mount Hills of Tibet, like mm -hmm. in the Himalayas, yep. and they accidentally run across this shrine to an indescribable thing that. Is it's like an angel, but it's made out of ham. Yeah, it's really creepy looking. It's it's like it look it looks like like it's made out of like a skeleton, but it's like it's a skeleton it's made out of other skeletons. It's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, and it's all messed up. And a guy goes into a trance <clears throat> looking at it, and he keeps telling people, "Don't touch me, or you'll die." And they they just keep seeing weird shit, and then bad things happen to them. <laughs> yeah. And then we end up like like flashing forward to uh, like just a normal American town, and this one cop guy who's trying to solve this weird suicide thing that's been happening that's tied to something called the Empty Man, um, which in in this instance, this portion of the movie kind of does feel like something like uh, Slender Man or Bye Bye Man, just done yeah, really cause, well because it's an urban legend. Yeah. It's like you know stand you know stand upon a bridge and and. <clears throat> whistle mm -hmm. into this, into an empty bottle that you happen to find, all of which have analogs to things that happen in the opening scene. Absolutely. You know, and- And when, it's effective and creepy it at it too. It is. Like, like I, I, I was so worried about something like Slender Man or Bye Bye Man, but everything it does that's similar to those movies, it does way better. Yeah. Like, it's just effective. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? Like something like The <clears throat> Ring is the movie I keep thinking of because that's a good example of someone trying to hunt down an urban legend. Um, yeah, it's yeah. actually creepy. Yeah, <laughs> and by the end of the movie, they tell you what it is. And we'll get the to that. Man wants. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get to that. Um, but um, well, what I will say is that this movie is a really good movie. It is a diamond in the rough, and I think if you like urban legend style mystery movies then this is a movie you should definitely check out. Um, if you like Urban Legends, if you like uh, movies like The Ring or Seven, if you like even those Appalachian, like, uh, Stuck in the Mountain Cabin Fever horror movies, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the opening sequence will definitely satisfy you with that. Um, I think you will thoroughly enjoy it. But unfortunately, there's not much more we can say until we get to the spoilers. So 
we're gonna want to do that yeah um i think this is not available for free anywhere as far as i'm aware if yeah we gonna, had to actually rent it on amazon prime yeah you're gonna have to find whatever platform you prefer and rent it on that but i highly recommend you do because this movie is totally worth it it is like like the person on social media said it is the most, most horror, horror movie, movie. <laughs> um and uh with that being said, let us just move on to the spoilers because there's no other way to talk yeah, about Yeah, there this. really isn't. <clears throat> One of the reasons that this movie is hard to talk about and it's really hard to tell people why they should watch it is <clears throat> for what the movie is. Mm -hmm. And what the movie is um, is a story about Narlathotep. Straight up. <laughs> yep. Straight up the crawling chaos. Yeah, basically the movie, once it like transitions into that urban legend thing, the urban legend leads him to a weird, creepy cult style movie where we're now like in a weird movie where he's dealing with a Scientology style, like weird cult. Yeah, that's led by Stephen Root. <laughs> and it's leading him to weird scenes where he's going out to the woods and seeing something that's like straight out of like um, the Wicker Man, <laughs> you know? So like we got a whole bunch of different types of horror movies happening at once here. And then the ultimate culmination of it all is that this is a cult of Narlathotep. I wish I could pronounce his name well, but I'm yeah. terrible at it, so I'm not going to try. Yeah. <laughs> and because you keep, because in the beginning, he's just this, this hooded figure. Mm -hmm. But near the climax, the tentacle comes out of his fucking face. And they refer to him as the crawling chaos and all that shit. Now, Jack happened to have been spoiled on the detail that that, that monster yeah. is in this movie, that that elder thing is in this movie. I had no idea. So I'm sitting there watching this movie, and then it's a surprise Lovecraft movie yeah, yeah, out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah, and the thing that I liked about it is it really was extremely reminiscent. Like, it reminded me of two Lovecraft stories mm -hmm. in particular, The Whisper in Darkness and The Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. You know, um, because like Whisper in Darkness, because we're in the spoiler section, mm -hmm. we can talk about this. Turns out main character ain't human. Yes. Yeah, that is, and that is, that is probably the best twist in this goddamn movie. Yeah. Is the point where you realize that he is in and of, of, of himself. Um, what's it called? A um, He's a tulpa. Tulpa, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He is the empty man. And he is empty because he is supposed to be host to Narlathotep. Yep. So the empty man the entire time was him. Um, yep. Or at the very least, he is supposed to replace the uh, current person. The current person who's holding the presence. Um, they did not want to have to wait uh, another century for one to appear, so they decided to create one. Yeah, so they do a magic ritual to create one, and that's the main character. Um, but, like, the journey leading up to this reveal is insane yeah. like you're like yeah 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 it's 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 a perfect fucking it's a perfect fucking like retelling of those lovecraft style stories where like the main character turns out to actually yep. to not be human yeah you know and I, and I and I'm glad that I was not spoiled on it because like that that I, my job was on the floor man like that oh dude it's really good like, holy it's shit it's really good um and and, and this it, it also like I love. It also loved each individual type of horror movie it had turned into. Like, I really liked. Oh yeah, the survival horror at the beginning. Yeah. Um. Then the urban legend yep. of the next part, and, and creepy then it's cult. a creepy cult movie, which then just transfers into like just complete Lovecraft. Yes, just one hundred percent. Like in the last like fucking like ten minutes of the movie, we're now watching the void. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This would make it. This actually make a really great double feature. With it would. It would. I would watch this first because I feel like the build would just be. Crazy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the 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 void goes more buck wild. Yeah. So if you have this slow build that kind of builds up into Lovecraft, and then you get into the void, and you're like a little bit there already. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Like this movie kind of ends where the void kind of starts. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and to be clear, the void has way more actual like monsters running around. Um, yeah, yeah. This was a, this is a lot more like guy. This is a lot more like like I said, whisper in darkness or the shadow out of time, like, where everything is <clears throat> normal, kind of. But the main character is like, I don't understand why these weird things are happening. Yeah, you know. And that's not even getting into like the weird shit, like um, the actual 
Okay, so part of the thing he's trying to solve in this movie is these weird suicides. Yeah. Um, and the, when we actually get to see some of the suicides take place, they're really fucking creepy. Like, it's just like, like it's these yeah. people that are like being forced by the <clears throat> spirit that no one else can see to kill themselves. Yep. Um, and I've seen that in other movies done really laughably, but in this movie it was actually creepy. Well, yeah, because like the first time you actually fucking watch it happen, you you they've already shown you the aftermath. Yes. You know, when he finds the first like five bodies oh, all yeah. under the bridge, you're just like, oh, okay, I wasn't expecting it to go this hard this fast. Yes. You know, like, okay, I thought, okay, no, all right, all right, all right, suicide, murder, monster. But the thing about that part is that when you get to the end and you, you, you now have this big question, once you get to the end, whether any of those suicides even happened. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, like, cause it's yeah. like, it could all have just been part of the story they designed for him. And we were watching that story play out. Yeah. You know? Um, and, and I like that twist because it also does the Lovecraftian um, person going in, going insane. Yeah, the person like fa um, falling headfirst into insanity, or in this case, horrid sanity. Yes, this is horrid sanity. But yet, yeah, like I keep saying, I know I've been saying this a lot, but like like whisper in darkness, like shadow out nope. of time. You know. Um, also, I really love that scene where he stumbled into his own birth, not realizing it. Yep. That was beautiful. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. That scene also, like, that's another, okay, that's another type of horror movie this ultimately is that it doesn't tell you, is that there's weird time fuckery happening in the movie that you don't know. Yeah, well, a, a, <laughs> lot so, Lovecraft, a lot of Lovecraft yeah, does that. Yeah, you know? until you get towards the end and then you realize that, oh, that actually took place at a different time, time period. period. Yeah. But well, we didn't know because the character was experiencing it a certain way, and so we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the shadow of time. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It is. It, this is a. This is a true diamond in the rough. Like. Oh yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah. I, I. I'm seeing more and more people talk about it now. Um, but this movie came out last year, and it has been slowly building a cult following. And I'm so happy for that. Because, oh yeah, it's a. It's an excellent flick. Because it deserves all the cult following it could get. It. It deserves like a full on just people loving it. It doesn't even need to be a cult following. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is. This is some genuine love this movie needs. Um, because this movie is really goddamn good. And uh, I think you I think you said you saw it on a list of secret Lovecraft movies. Yeah, I saw it on a list as like movies you didn't realize <laughs> were Lovecraft movies. And I was like, what? You know, yep. like, and when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay, well, what stupid thing are they going to come up to? And then I see the word Narla the name Narlathotep and I'm like, okay, stop. I'm just going to watch the movie. I'm just going to watch the movie. Yeah, I'm just going to watch the movie now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and this movie is fucking good. So I don't know what else to say other than you guys should check out The Empty Man. It is legit good. It is not The Bye Bye Man. It is not Slender Man. Ooh. It is It is Ooh. not, it is not Yes Man. <laughs> yeah, it is, oh God, no, it doesn't, it's a really good movie and it's it doesn't really suck. You know, it's, it's not, really good. you're not gonna be sitting there going, really, you know, like, no, that doesn't happen. No, you know the movie does not insult your intelligence. Not in the you least. You know, and it it, it we're blow really, it, it'll blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. It yeah. blew my mind. Though now that you've watched our vlog, you, you will not have your mind. Yeah, blown. yeah, but, yeah. But like <laughs> you know, <laughs> but here's the really thing: if you, if you watch through the spoiler spoilers, at, uh, if you if you continue watching through the spoilers having not seen the movie, then that means you needed to be spoiled in order to want to see it. And yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. You know. No problem. Just go watch it. It's great. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, with that said, where can they find you, Camp Jackula? Well, you can find me on Twitter, Jack Satan Wave on Twitter. You can find me on Twitch, Jack underscore Jackula, where I stream every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also follow me here on YouTube, where I occasionally also stream. And you can find me on Instagram at Satanic Jackula. I'm sorry they're all different. This is uh, <laughs> what happens when you run afoul of algorithms and Nazis. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's an, it's you unfortunate. You end up having to start a lot of other accounts over and can't use similar names because all of a sudden they've just been mysteriously taken. Yup. Yeah. And y'all know me, I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook. Some just, bitch. Just look up for <laughs> Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. Um, fuck you. I'm just yeah. 
Um, and as per usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, these videos thrive on engagement, so any form of engagement will help this channel out. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment below, uh, share it with your friends, um, and uh, you'll be golden. Um, and if you would like to help out our channels more directly, then be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with that said, we just recorded two vlogs in a row, and I'm starting to lose my voice, so uh, we're going to end it here. Real close.